Hey guys, so here we are. First, I like to uh, start with a number two guard. I like to start with a pretty big number. I know I could go lower, but different textures. Sometimes it messes with you. So we're gonna go around this area, go all around that and just cut that off. Just go straight in and brush as you cut guys. Uh, that way the <clears throat> hair falls off pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna fast forward this part so we can get to the to the next part. So I guess I felt that I needed to go a little lower. I'm gonna use a one and a half. Um, as you can see, um, there's a couple of spots right there. So we're just gonna go over it one more time. Don't go too low, like go straight into a one, cause you never know. It might leave some spots that are more bald. Um, so just be careful when you're doing this especially when you're going higher uh, sometimes when you go higher and you use the same number or the same level uh, sometimes it overcuts more so keep cutting little by little don't rush it uh, things become perfect when you don't rush it so as you can see it's kind of coming off getting lighter and lighter and that's what we want for the for the design effect and we are going to create a fading effect on the design and you'll see here in a little bit when I get to the design so I'm going to fast forward a little bit for you guys so guys I'm gonna be using the Slimline Pro LIs. And as you can see, I kind of pre-draw it and that was pretty much so I could <clears throat> show her a little bit of where exactly it's going to be and things like that. I usually never do this. When I do designs, I never draw it. I don't sketch the whole thing. I just go at it and um, it's God's hand, so regardless of everything else I just keep going if there's any mistakes I feel like I'm gonna do or I did uh, I try to step back a little bit and then find a way to fix it but here you can see that I'm using the corners um, of all means pretty much all means necessary whenever you're doing a design um, your corners sometimes using it flat but right now I'm just hitting the corners, you know, doing the first pedal. Um, I mean, I mean, I I guess you could say the first pedal or whatever you want to call it, first part of the kind of uh, not a rose, but like a flower design, I guess. I really don't know what to call it, but she showed me a design. Well, I showed her a design like that, kind of, but it was uh, it was really bad. So I told her it was gonna come out much, much better. So here you can see again, I'm using my corners, going in circles, trying to get it real crispy, as crispy as I can. And this is pretty much my first guideline, so I gotta, I gotta be uh, real careful with how I'm doing it and brush the hair from your clippers every time because uh, sometimes when you're doing the design and there's hairs in the machine, you can't tell if you're 
cutting off hair because of the hair that's in the blade but here you can see that I'm kind of using flat and I'm also brushing as much as I need to any hair counts because then you could create a mistake thinking that you need to cut the hair and then you cut off more than you're supposed to so I'm going to fast forward the video a little bit and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing with this first part I'm gonna do with everything else So guys, right here, I'm gonna use some scissors just to get some of the hairs that are sticking out. Um, just detail, a little bit of detail work is what I do. Um, the trimmers usually get everything, but with the scissors, uh, you could actually do a little bit more detail. You know, um, it'd be nice if they had a blade that had smaller, well, I mean, a machine that had a smaller blade and not wouldn't be able to use the scissors and it'd be helpful there's still other things that i wish they had that they don't but i'm thinking of modifying my own blade cutting it short so i could skip this part and i'll be able to get to the cut or the design faster so like i said here i'm just clipping a little bit uh, off the tips the edges, the sides, just making it crisp. And here I'm gonna go back with the trimmers just to do a little bit of cleanup work, um, just to make sure that I'm leaving it uh, pretty good. So this is where I use my clippers, and pretty much, guys, this. This is what's gonna make the design pop out. It's gonna make it come alive. It just, it just gives it a different view and makes the flower actually uh, stand out more than uh, it is right now. So, like I said, I'm fading from bottom to top. And I'm playing with my levers till I feel that I, I'm getting it really nice and shaded shadows and some lights and darks So this is pretty much the final product, guys. Uh, I made it pop out with all the details that I did. Um, hopefully this video was real helpful to you guys. We did a little, a little something, something for you guys, a little color. So here's the final product. Like I said, I hope you guys like it. A little surprise, she wanted to enhance it a little bit and I thought it was a good idea. We put a little bit of color. 
So here it is guys, we add a couple of enhancements to it. And again, this is Yuck the Barber guys. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like, and hit the notification bell to get more videos of the upcoming videos that I'm gonna do. You guys have a blessed day and enjoy this video over and over. Peace out, y'all know the drill.